I was the victim of a brutal assault at the hands of Mesa police officers. I was tased, I was punched over and over by multiple cops, I was gouged in the eye. Now! Let go of the post! They laughed at me while I laid in a pool of my own blood. Aww. You gotta be a man, man. Man up. And I'm left to defend myself in court. And what happens to these guys? Nothing. Mesa police are now investigating three separate controversial arrests. We found out about the latest just last night. Yeah, police body cam footage tonight showing officers punching a guy and then mocking him. Today, the man you see in these videos is telling us his side of the story. Mike Watkins joining us live tonight with his story, Mike. Yeah, Mesa Police Department, a department once again under fire this evening after more video surfaces of yet another violent and many would argue brutal arrest. On January 28, 2018, I was the victim of a brutal assault at the hands of Mesa police officers. 23-year-old Mesa resident Jose Condi today talking about this. The night back in January when he was a passenger in a friend's car, the car pulled over, Condi taken into custody. Oh, what the this just released police body cam video showing some of the violent arrest. Police say Condi was resisting, assaulting officers, and had some cocaine stashed in a sock. The facts are simple and they are these. I was searched, I was thrown to the ground, I was heaved into a wall, I was tased, I was punched over and over by multiple cops, I was gouged in the eye, and I was hit in the head with a massive police flashlight. The police body cam video released to the media yesterday by Jose Condi's defense attorney. Some of it shot in the hospital where Jose Condi lay on the floor after allegedly trying to make a run for it. Aww. When officers act like this, it causes citizens to question the integrity of other good officers. In a written statement today, Mesa Police Chief Ramon Batista saying the incident now under review, but cautioning the release videos do not tell all of the story. Jose Condi slated to go on trial in the next few weeks, but in light of these videos, Condi and his attorney clearly hoping those charges are dropped. In the end, I had to have my ears sewn back on. I had to have my head stapled back together and I'm left to defend myself in court. And what happens to these guys? Nothing. They, they don't get charged with anything. They just go back to their jobs and they possibly do this to other people and that's unacceptable. Yeah, Connie's attorney saying at this point, there are no plans to sue the Mesa Police Department, but depending on what happens in that criminal matter, matter that could certainly change. Of course, we'll continue to monitor. Here in the East Valley, Mike Watkins, Arizona's family.